Hey guys, Jeff from Backyard Water Garden here. Today we're at the home of the Cookie King of Youngstown, owner of the Vegan Beacon, and we're gonna be fixing his walk today. Stick around. And this giant tree is causing a problem. The tree roots are coming through the brick. What we're gonna do today is pull up this brick walk, cut these roots out, and put it all back down like we were never there. All right, what you're gonna learn in this video is how to fix a brick walk. We're gonna find the uh, worst area to start with. We're gonna take off the bricks from here to about there. So let's get started. So all you do is just take a screwdriver, get the first one out, and then just continue to, to remove the bricks and try not to ruin the garden plants. Helper guy. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we've removed the bricks. We've exposed some roots. There's a, there's a hump right here that we're going to take our shovel, we're gonna level it out, find the root, cut it out, and then we're just gonna put sand over top and level it out and then relay the bricks. Pretty simple. We're gonna skim off the sand to try and save as much as we can. All we're doing now is uh, scraping the sand off. As you can see, there's stone underneath the sand. So you wanna get all the sand off so you can get your, you can expose your roots to cut them out. It's important, the stone wall, I don't want to pull any dirt out from underneath that because that'll cause it to collapse and we don't wanna have to worry about this as well. So all we're doing is taking the sand off. All right, we have our root exposed. So now it's time for me to use my favorite tool. This is the most convenient tool you could ever buy. If you don't have one, I'll leave a link in the description below. Pick yourself up one. It is a lifesaver, time saver, all that stuff. If you don't have one, maybe you got a buddy that you can borrow one from too. That always works if you're not gonna use it all the time. We have some crappy blades and we're just gonna plunge down. We've exposed the roots as much as we're going to right now. And I'm just gonna dig that blade into the dirt and hack across the root on both sides, pull it out of there, and then we'll, we're going to put our foundation back. Now, if you're cutting a root this big, if you can see the size of this tree here, it is massive. So don't worry about cutting one root. It's not gonna kill the tree. You'll be just fine. It's always a good idea to have a buddy with you because as you can tell, I'm out of breath. When you have someone with you, they talk you into making sure you get the job done right and getting this root all the way out. Because it's easy to say, I quit, but then the job won't be done right. So make sure you get your roots out completely. It's always nice when you get the root to come out one solid piece. We weren't so lucky in this situation just because of the size of this monstrosity caught underground here so what we've done is we've chipped it up into little pieces of wood chips and sometimes that's all you can do but if you get most of it out you will be in good shape pull our stone back compact it down relay our bricks break a little bit of stone across hit it with this compact it and then put some more let's do a little bit at a time to make sure that we got a nice solid base When you're doing a job like this, it's always good to have a good time. I bet you can't jump that. Do it up. He's gonna be like, Drake. Yeah, nice. From Uncharted, you know, jump in the pit, alligator pit, whatever. We have to put our sand back on and we're gonna level it to match the existing landscape, the existing pitch and height of the walk. We have our two by six. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a notch on this end notch on that end. I have a diagram if you want to check out my blog post on this. I have a diagram of how to cut your board. All we're going to do is we're going to cut a notch on this board, the thickness of the brick. That way when we put our board on the existing walk and go across, it will level the sand at the exact height that we want. We're do that. We're going to cut this out. We're going to lay it across our span, see how far it is, 
and then put a notch on the other side. This is the depth of a brick, and you want to give yourself enough room so you can slide the board back and forth to create a flat surface. So we're just going to check our surface and make sure that there's no high spots because there is going to knock those down before we put our, down our sand. This space right here is going to be our sand. It's going to create the same pitch that already exists. You want to make sure your notches are cut long enough so that your board can easily slide back and forth to create a nice smooth surface. Okay, as you can see we haven't run into any high spots yet. Now, right now, I'm just kind of doing this quickly just for the video's sake, but you want to make sure that the top of these bricks are also cleaned off, otherwise it'll throw off your pitch a bit. So make sure you clean them, we'll do that before we actually put the sand down in here and do it. This board's great, but it will not get right up against your existing walk, so you're gonna have to do that by hand. You can just get some sand in there and just kind of smooth it out with your hand and eye it up and set your bricks down. What you do is you throw your sand in front of the board. Make sure you got okay. and we're just gonna go back and forth. Now remember when you're doing a project like this, perfection is an illusion. You're never gonna reach perfection. Do the best you can, it'll be fine. Okay, we smoothed our sand base la layer. Make sure you get all up in the bricks so that there's a nice clean surface to lay your bricks on. Now when you're looking at a brick walk, this outside is called the soldier course, and it goes around the outside. A lot of brick walks have this on either side and it just kind of frames the whole thing in. This is where we started. This is our new brick. Make sure you clean off the dirt off the bottom of your bricks if you have any. You can get rid of the moss or leave it. It's gonna grow back anyways. And you just Make sure you have the bricks the right way. There's usually a beveled edge on the top. The bottom is square. So make sure you just put them in right. That's all there is to it. This does do a number on your knees. If you have a lot of brick to do, I recommend knee pads. Just so uh, save yourself some wear and tear on your knees. Yes, it looks like there's big gaps in there. That's okay. That's going to be filled with sand. That's what's in the cracks here. That's where the moss, moss grows. Sweep sand in the cracks and we are done. Okay, if you have a situation like this, where you just have one brick sticking up. All we're gonna do here is we're gonna take out this little area, scrape down, re-level it out, and put the brick back in there. This brick is encased. I don't know if you can see it here. There's roots all around it, and it is jammed in there. This thing, this walk's been here for about 20 years. This is, this is what happens to a brick walk, especially with trees around, but you can't avoid it. It's just part of the nature of things. This is wild. This root has like sucked itself to the bottom of this brick. Isn't nature amazing? <laughs> this is incredible. So we're just gonna lay, level that out by hand. Okay, so we put our bricks back. We're gonna sweep the rest of that into the cracks. You see how we have a line there? We wanna fill that in with sand as well because we don't want these and edge, the, the soldier course, we don't want the soldier course to shift. What the sand does is it locks everything together and keeps everything from shifting and moving. All right, so there you have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a ton. And go check out backyardwatergarden.com if you got any questions. Leave them in the comments below. If you want to see any other different kind of videos, feel free to leave a comment. And until next time, enjoy your backyard water garden.